Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday, October 29th. Mr. Paired here with your rundown. First off, make sure that you're doing the bell ringers every day there. You can answer up the questions. Uh, today, what we're doing, you're going to cut out your pieces to part A. And if you have pieces for part B, or if you just colored them right on there, you're going to cut out your pieces to part B. You're going to assemble them on the correct way on your paper. Make sure they're down, glue them, tape them, whatever, or if you just put them on there and then take a picture, that works as well. Uh, but you're going to take a picture and then submit part A to where the assignment will be part A on there, and you'll submit part B to where part B will be at on that. And then there is a Flipgrid extra credit to explain the formula going on in part B. The instructions are on the part B directions there itself. Um, let me pull them up here. So right here where it says Flipgrid, these are the instructions for it. So once your puzzle is complete, glued, taped, go on to School G, find the link for the Flipgrid. It'll be on there. I'm going to show you those in just a little bit. Make sure you select the correct hour. I'll show you what that looks like. You're going to create a new post and go over both your equations for both photosynthesis and respiration. And then below, there are four things that you need to do when you make your Flipgrid post. First, show off your paper, show off your equations. These need to be clearly seen in the video, so make sure that you have those on there. Um, you're going to explain what each one of your piece represents. You're going to explain what the reactants and the products are. You're going to explain how these two processes then work together and how they are part of the same cycle. Um, so all the things that we've been doing, you're going to be looking at and explaining a part of uh, your little flip grid post. That is what you are going to be doing there. So how that ends up looking from our point of view here is that you have this one that says assignment puzzle picture part A. That's where you'll put part A and follow our picture taking instructions. For where it says assignment picture puzzle part B, you'll add your picture to part B to submit it. Here's where the extra credit link will be to the flip grid. I'll show you how that looks. You open it up. You're going to want to hit join with Google. Because your Google stuff will be how you join in. Sign in using your school account. Boom, it'll give you access it because I have it giving you access to that via um, your school email. So if your school email is in there, it will allow you to get on um, that link there and then there should be a thing that pops up it doesn't show for me because I signed in as the teacher account so it doesn't show it shows me a different screen because you don't because just how it works uh, but you'll be able to see your hour you'll be able to click on your hour and then be able to post your video on our photosynthesis respiration part B if you want some of that extra credit it's the only opportunity that I'm going to give you this quarter to get some so uh, we're kind of smack dab right in the middle of it here, so it could be a good opportunity for some of you to just bank some extra points for later on in the road. So hopefully you take advantage of that. A lot of you have been discussing these things as we've been creating them anyway, so you'll be able to explain it pretty well, I think, there. So make sure if you're taking part of that opportunity that you do that. Everything needs to be submitted by tomorrow, so make sure everything gets submitted up for Friday. Good old Halloween Eve going on there, so... If you have any questions about anything, do not hesitate to ask, email it up. Otherwise, I will see you, hopefully, in class soon. See ya.